What's up challengers? Welcome to the gym. My name is Jim Leader Geo and today I've got a ranked battle spot video for you guys and I'm doing the 6v6 no item mode special ranked battle and I'm really excited. I really wanted to try doing this. I haven't really done any of the special battle spots before maybe a little bit in the VGC but I didn't really post any videos about it so I'm really excited to do it this time. Unfortunately by popular demand, I had to bring a gym that's probably going to be really bad at it by popular demand. I mean, the one person asked me for it, that's enough in this circumstance. So let me go over my team with you guys. I am bringing the fighting type gym. And I have, before I started doing YouTube, I actually did a couple of, uh, of fighting type gym just for fun. I really like a lot of the fighting type Pokemon. Some of my favorite Pokemon are kind of fighting type. So um, this team, though, has such an overwhelming weakness and I could have covered it pretty well if they let me bring a Keldeo but it's banned in this mode. I don't know why for some reason Landorus isn't banned. I looked up the list and I was looking at the list of the of the banned Pokemon. Landorus isn't banned. That guy used to be Uber. But that's Smogun and that's neither here nor there. Keldeo is an event Pokemon. I guess they didn't like that. So whatever. Let's find let's fine, whatever. Keldeo is not allowed. I'll go over my team with you guys real quick. I've got Infernape. So he's kind of my... He's kind of like I'm baiting the obvious lead with him. And he's a good lead Pokemon. He's fast and has U-turn. And uh, that'll be good for me. But I don't actually intend to lead with him most of the time. Because I do believe a lot of people who have an answer for my team will lead against him. And Infernape's not the best Pokemon to take out counter fighting type Pokemon. We've got the Pups. My specially offensive... Um, Lucario, and he's pretty much my only special attacker on the entire team, so uh, fingers crossed that they don't really have too many physical walls because he's got to be the only option I have to break him. So, we've got the Terrakian. Terrakian is really my only answer to Talonflame. If I fight a Talonflame, every single one of my members of my team will go down except him in pretty much one shot. We've got the Breloom. Breloom is not Technician, he is Poison Heal, and the reason is, in case I encountered someone pretty defensive who's throwing around poisons, like maybe a, um, uh, you wouldn't see a Glyscore, but just in case, because I'm not bringing a Guts Conkelder, I'm bringing an Iron Fist Conkelder. This is my McSmash, former member of the, um, Faithful Six, and then we have my one true coverage Pokemon, Scrafty. And he is an offensive set because, honestly, he's going to have to switch in for free, take advantage of a free switch opportunity to get a Dragon Dance up, and then I'm just going to have to do as much as I can with him because, honestly, he's going to be my answer to Pokemon who are packing Psychic, like Extra Sensory Greninja or any actual Psychic type. So, uh, I'm going to challenge right now. We are 0-0, zero and zero, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm excited to see what kind of opponents they put us up against. Battle anyone, Andy Bear? Yes, Andy Bear. I will battle you right now. Right here. You're from Colorado? That's cool, man. Ooh, what am I doing? Here we go. So, we have got the Haxorus. The, uh... Uh, not the Murkrow. His evolution. I'm gonna Honchkrow. The Electros. The Lilligant. The, uh, Catacosta. And the Sigilyph. So this is a really cool team. Sigilyph is going to be a huge problem. A huge problem with Sigilyph. Um, flying Psychic. Wow, what are the chances? What are the chances? Um, eesh. Lilligant's going to be a little bit... No, Lilligant will be okay. Honchcrow... Yeah, I'm going to lead with, um, I'm going to lead with the Kinkelder, because between his coverage moves, ice, he has Ice Punch, he has uh, Mock Punch, uh, Drain Punch, and Knock Off, and between that, he actually does have a super effective option for everyone on that team except the Electros, so Kinkelder is an okay-ish lead. Now, you know what? I'm actually going to lead with, um... I'm actually going to lead with Infernape, because I do predict the Sigilyph lead, and if it is the Sigilyph lead, I can get a U-turn off with Infernape and get Scrafty in there to handle business uh, from the incoming Psychic. Although, he, oh man, he might just go for a Flying-type move, and I got nothing. 
Nothing. Maybe that was a mistake. Should have stuck with my gut lib with Kinkelda, but Kinkelda's really going to be a big revenge killer for me. So maybe I got to keep him healthy. Uh, I lead with Inferni. And he leads with Terra Costa. This is interesting. He's probably going to go for a Shell Smash, because I don't think he can kill me without a Shell Smash. Terra Costa. Terra Costa. Versus Inferni. No, Waterfall is going to do a hefty amount of damage to me. Close Combat will also do a good amount to him, but do I want Infernape to go down potentially? What is my chance of killing with Close Combat? 43% chance? 43% chance to Oko. Oh, guys, what do I do? What do I do? Let's roll the mother dice, shall we? Let's roll the dice. I'm going for the close combat. Kill him. Kill him. No! <laughs> oh, he's sturdy. Duh. Duh. Here comes the waterfall, and Infernate is dead, 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 dead. Oh, Surf. He's special. Still don't think I can live it, but... Yeah, I definitely can't live that. <laughs> special Caracosta, you sneaky devil, you. Sneaky, sneaky. Um, so one thing I'm thinking is Lucario might be able to handle most of this guy's attacks. And might be able to get a nasty plot set up. Just maybe. Or I could bring in Breloom, uh, put, him to s put him to sleep, and then on the switch set up my sub, and then go for a focus punch or something. That might be good. Because there's not a lot of Pokemon that I actually outspeed with Breloom. Oh, but he might switch into Sigilyph and bounce it back on me. Mm, let's go for the Lucario. And let's go for the Nasty Plot. Let's do it right now. Now's the best chance to do it because I don't think he can one-shot me. Oh, please don't have Earthquake. Oh, jeez. Please don't have Earthquake. He's not gonna save it. He's gonna go for an attack here. And if he packs Earthquake, but he's, is he mixed? Is he mixed? That would be that would make him mixed. Why does he have Surf? I mean, if he Shell Smash, he could totally be a specially defensive or especially offensive variety. That's totally normal. Normal move. A lot of Pokemon do that. Oh, guys, this is going to be such a hard gym. I, I'm almost dreading taking it to a rank battle spot and doing a three, uh, 3v3 with it. I really almost don't want to. This is uh, this is scary. I'm scared right now. And this guy, I got lucky. This guy didn't have a Talon Flame. He didn't have, like, a, like an Extra Century Greninja. He doesn't have an Alakazam. doesn't have... Um, I mean, I didn't see any Fairy types either. Fairies, oh my god, don't even get me started. This, Lucario would be my only answer, so he does choose to stay in. I go for the nasty plot. Let's see what he goes for. Um, Earth power. I am fucked, fucked, fucked. I live. I live and I got a nasty plot up. So now vacuum wave. Just to take out Caracosta. God, I should have known. I should have known. Oh, man. But I should have just gone for the kill. Easy kill, because now we can switch in someone who can just handle business. Uh, Sigilyph. I'm gonna check your speed tier, bro. Sigilyph. 97! Oh my god, you're so fast! How are you so fast? Wow! 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 Uh, just checking to see how much damage this stuff is gonna do to this guy. Vacuum wave. He's not unbulky. Flash cannon, but I'm not gonna be able to get it off. Flash cannon would actually one hit KO this guy. It actually would. It really would. Oh, that's life orb, and I don't have life orb equipped. Ha! <laughs> just kidding, guys. JK, everybody. Flash Cannon still might also. Vacuum Wave would do nothing. I don't know why it would work out this way, but I'm going to go for the Flash Cannon just in case I outspeed. I don't. He goes for the Psychic. I could have switched into Scrafty there and been just fine, just fine, fine, just fine, 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 fine. Um, I'm going to... Uh... 
Infernape's dead. Uh, why did I just switch? I guess I was scared of the air slash. He probably still has the air slash, but this guy's fast. F A S T. But he's not faster than Terrakian. And Terrakian is going to hurt you, Sigilith. He is going to hurt you really badly with a Stone Edge. Um, actually, well, X Scizor. X Scizor will not kill you. I know it's neutral. I just wanted to see. I just wanted to see, guys. I know he's gonna switch. I'm gonna go for the Stone Edge anyway. He stays in. I hit him. Sigil is going down. What are you thinking, bro? Why would you stay in with this guy? Friends. Why? He wasn't even my counter. He wasn't even my counter to Sigilith. Scrafty was. I should have switched in Scrafty. You know what it was? I didn't want to waste having set up a plus two. I don't know what I was thinking. Il Ectros. Electros. I mean, I'm kind of bulky. Ah! Stylus, no! I'm back, guys. Don't worry about it. Um, Electros, Electros, that's cool, might have Giga Drain, that'd do a lot of damage, that would do a lot of damage, oh, especially if I'm minus one on my defenses, wouldn't kill me, but it would, you know, come pretty PDC, pretty darn close. I don't know if this guy's a special or physical variety, because he's actually stronger on the physical side, but his physical move pool is, I want to say garbage, because it is garbage. So I will say garbage, it's garbage. I'm going to switch in Breloom here, with two seconds remaining, anticipating either an Earthquake or a Giga Drain, and both of which I resist. Let's see what he's got. Drain Punch. Ouch. Just kidding. Not even a two hit KO. Uh, going for the Spore here. Going for the Spore. I don't think he'll switch out. Good, he doesn't. And now, um, I can set up a... You know, I don't really need to set up a sub. I can just go for, straight away for the Focus Punch. Which I will. I'm gonna go for the focus punch here. Um, if he switches out, because if he switches out and he switches in a, a threat, a counter to Breloom, then there's no difference if I went for the sub, because he'll just take it out the next turn and all I'm, I'll get one focus punch off, so nothing's really changed there. Uh, he's fast asleep, so I get two turns sleep and get the focus punch off, and this is gonna do a good amount of damage. Yep. Really good amount of damage. Now, the question is, Mr. Breloom, will you kill with a seed bomb now? Not a bullet seed. A seed bomb. And not a muck punch. A focus punch. So focus punch kind of got minimum damage there. Seed bomb's not a whole hell of a lot weaker. We're gonna go for the seed bomb right now. Right here, same bat time, same bat place. Seed bomb will kill you. Do it. Do it, Breloom. Thank you. Electros goes down. Glad I made that switch. You guys see how light it gets on my face if I lean into my bright, bright light? Oh my god, you see that? That is ridiculous. That's why you gotta stay back. Let the... Look at my hand. What's going on here? Haunts Crow. Ouch. Um, slower than me. Assuming I'm invested. Oh, God. Am I invested in speed? I might be a really bulky Brayden. Mm, I'm not invested in HP, so I don't know what else I'd be invested in. 122 speed? Why am I 122? Oh, am I adamant? Are you joshing me right now? Why would I be adamant? 
He's gonna outspeed me. Oh, yeah, duh, he's speed 71. Of course he's gonna outspeed me. He's literally one speed higher than I am. Um, and what's he gonna do, Brave Bird? Wow, he's gonna murder me with Brave Bird. He is going to murder everyone with Brave Bird, actually. Maybe not Terrakian. Oh, I'm done. I'm stupid. Yeah, well, you know what? <laughs> Shoot, I sh Oh, man. I gotta be faster, guys. I'm taking way too long to make my turns. This is why you shouldn't be talking like this. You should not be talking so much. He gets the mocks. Shoot. Now I got nothing at all. Um, Terrakian can come in, won't get hurt too much by a Sucker Punch, will one shot with a Stone Edge as long as I hit it. This is, I'm counting on Terrakian right now to land these Stone Edges. This is horrible. You know what, maybe I don't need to. Guys, I'm gonna do it again, I'm calking again. I'm gonna see if this X-Scissor will Oko him. It's neutral. It is neutral, buddy. It won't oak us. Stone Edge will. Let's go for it then. Let's go for the edge. Do not let me down, bro. I missed. I missed the Stone Edge. There is nothing in this game I hate more than having to rely on Stone Edge. I hate it. I absolutely freaking hate it. So I'm dead now, because he's now a plus two Haunts Crow, who I can't outspeed with anybody. Absolutely freaking ridiculous. So... That lost me the game. There are no words. There are no freaking words at all right now for missing the stone edge when you need it the most. And like, it's fine. Like you miss a stone edge, you lose one Pokemon, fine. But in a gym battle, you miss a stone edge and you get swept. Your entire team gets swept because you missed the stone edge. Mock Punch got to hope that his damage drop or his defense drop, and the fact that he's at about half health means that I take him out here. I'm just counting on Kinkelda here. Iron Fist, Mach Punch. Stab. Really, I mean, there's the reason I didn't go into Kinkelda before I went into Scrafty, is that I don't need Scrafty's dark typing anymore. Because I don't really foresee any other psychic threats. Kinkelda... Pops the Lilligant, pops the Haxorus. And those are his two remaining, I do believe. I don't know what's taking him so long. It should be pretty obvious what you do here, bro. Because you won't take me out with a Sucker Punch. And you will take me out with a Brave Bird. He does go for the Sucker Punch. Good for you. Look at that. Pathetic. There's the moth, and he goes down. So, good for that. This might not be too bad a loss. It might not be. I made some pretty big errors here, but honestly, it's just, it's so hard. It's gotta be pretty much, you switch into Pokemon and just pray you get a kill. That's how the fighting type gym works. Um, I probably, I think I predict, Lilligant now to try and do some hacks. Maybe put me to sleep. Maybe go for a quiver dance or something. I don't know. Grass type Pokemon are annoying. I know that there's no way he's just gonna let me go to town on him. Um, he'll probably try and put me to sleep and then start setting up quiver dances. 
Or you could just go into Haxorus right now and try and take me out. It's always banded lead or something like that. I don't know what takes people so long sometimes. You don't have a hard decision to make here. You've got... I gotta calm myself the whatever down, guys. I really gotta do it. There's Lilligant. Sleep Powder incoming. So, um, curious. Kinkelder. Drain Mock Knock Off Ice Punch versus Lilligant. I am not a Salt Vest. I am not. That is not what I am. And you are not Left Rovers. Um, Petal Dance will kill me, pretty much. Uh, Ice Punch will kill him, pretty much, and nothing else will get close, so I gotta hope he misses his Sleep Powder if he goes for it, or doesn't go for the attack. If he goes for an attack right now, whether it kills me or not means I lose to the Haxorus when it comes in. If he goes for the Sleep Powder and misses, I actually have a chance in this game. He goes for the Sleep Powder, he lands the Sleep Powder. Of course he does. Of course he lands the Sleep Powder. When I can't land a Stone Edge to literally save my life. Literally to save the life of the entire game, I can't land a Stone Edge. Second turn, wake up. Right now. Go for the Quiver Dance. Yes. Yes. Wake up. Kinkelder, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Right now. Second turn, wake up. I need it to happen. Yes, baby! Come on, Ice Punch! Take him out. Take out the Lilligan. Yes! Oh my god. It's not over yet, guys. It's not over yet. That's what you get for being... Oh, my God. <sighs> Haxorus. What do you got for me, buddy? I think there's a chance. There's still a chance, guys. There's still a chance. I have to ice punch right now. Why would he go for a dragon deck? I might have just won, guys. Oh my god, I'm about to turn this around. I'm so... I'm on the edge of my GD seat. I don't even need a freeze, but if I got one, I would just laugh all the way to the bank. I one-shot him! I oh my god! Oh my god, I can't believe it! I did not expect a win with this, guys. I did not expect a win, not after the Stone Edge miss. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I am so happy right now. I'm saving that video. Oh my god. Oh, King Kelder. King Kelder, my love. Oh my god, how did I ever kick you from my from my faithful six? I am so happy, guys. And I'm even happier because I get to tell you all some new news that I just found out and I'm so excited to share with you guys right now. As I mentioned in my last video, I recently applied to Mount Silver Battle, a collaborative YouTube channel, uh, much like Lumiere Station is with a bunch of different conductors, we're going to have a lot of different battlers on Mount Silver. Um, it's led by X Reservation, who I'm sure you guys all know, he does the VGC videos, one of the most talented VGC battlers out there, and Moody, who does pretty much everything, and she's great. And um, a lot of guys who I didn't know before, but they're really cool guys. I've been chatting with them on Skype. Point is, they accepted me, and guys, look at this. If you guys choose, and please do, go subscribe to Mount Silver Battles, because I'm going to be on there. I'm going to be one of the new members of that channel, and look at this. They made this for me. Doesn't that look awesome, guys? This is going to be my template for when I do that. I mean, I'm not going to bring six Greninjas all the time. I mean... Gym, what gym type would that be? Gym type, Mono Greninja? Mono Greninja, the oh whole man. But, oh, I'm just so pumped. I'm so pumped. I got my little face here. Um, X Reservation Kevin said that I have to bring uh, the Chubby Pikachu every time, so he's going to be right there as long as I am recording from home. Guys, I don't always record from here, but maybe I'll have to bring the Chubby Pikachu. I don't know. Look, you got Fresh. Even Fresh is right there. Fresh is going to be my first episode. I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet for the channel, but Fresh is definitely coming. <laughs> Oh, man, I'm just, I'm so pumped. If you guys liked what you saw, please hit like, favorite, subscribe, anything at all that will help my channel grow so much. And uh, definitely go check out Mount Silver Battle. I'm going to leave links to everything in the annotation down below. Follow me on Twitter if you want a chance to be on the channel. As always, my name is Jim Leader Geo. You guys are the challengers. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll see you guys next time.